many instances quoted in the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood. And he personally came in this age of Kali to exhibit the mood of Srimati Radharani, to make the people know who is Srimati Radharani. Otherwise, generally, highly misunderstood. People don't have you know, clear vision or you can say clear understanding who is Srimati Radharani. I'll just take two, three instances from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Very extraordinary. Can't be exhibited by ordinary mortals. Which shows what is the love of Srimati Radharani to Krishna. First one, in the temple of Lord Jagannath. It was his daily schedule, Mahaprabhu's schedule, to go early morning to the temple of Lord Jagannath to take the darshan of Sri Jagannath. And in the evening too, in Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela, it is described one particular occasion where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went early in the morning with all his devotees and then began the kirtan inside the temple of Lord Jagannath. It is described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita when Lord Chaitanya performed his kirtan inside the temple. Inside the temple, the hall of Lord Jagannath is called Jag Mohan. Actually, it is a space between the altar of Lord Jagannath, uh, between the altar of Lord Jagannath and Garuda Stamba. We can say from the altar of Gopinath to Prabhupada's Vyasasan, triple it thrice. You can triple the size of this hall, and that is the hall of Jag Mohan. Actually, those devotees have gone to Jagannath Puri, they know it. And Mahaprabhu started his Kirtan. Kirtan reached a crescendo. And uh, Mahaprabhu told Sarup Damodar, recite that verse in Odia. And Sarup Damodar Goswami recited that verse. May this head fall at the lotus feet of Lord Jagannath in this hall of Jag Mohan. And Mahaprabhu's ecstasy knew no bounds. He started shedding torrents of tears. As it is described in the Sikshashtakam, Yuga Yukitam Nimishena Chakshusha Pravrasha Itam Shunya Itam Jagat Sarvam Govinda Virahenami. O Govinda, feeling your separation, I am considering a moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain. And this day, Mahaprabhu shed you know, tears like torrents of rain. It is described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. All those devotees who were surrounding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started floating in the tears of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now a material mind may wonder, is this not exaggeration? The devotees floating in the tears of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the hall of Jagmohan? No, it is not an exaggeration. Because... This was the symptom of Srimati Radharani when she would pray to Krishna. When she would pray in the mood of separation, she would shed torrents of tears. This is one instance where devotees are floating in the tears of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Second instance is, there are many instances, I'm just taking few, uh, is uh, when after the Snan Purnima that was just recently held, Till the Netra Utsavam, that period is called Annavasara, where the body of Jagannath is painted. That time there is no darshan for any of the pilgrims. Feeling separation from Lord Jagannath, Mahaprabhu couldn't tolerate being in Jagannath Puri. He would go to Alarnath. And there in Alarnath, he would lie on a stone slab, just remembering Lord Jagannath feeling the intense separation from Lord Jagannath. And then, because of this intensity, his body would be, it would emit so much of heat that that stone slab would start melting. And even today, for all the devotees, for all time to come, that stone slab is still there, where Mahaprabhu would just remember Lord Jagannath, remember Lord Krishna, and the stone would melt. 
Now someone may say, is this not an exaggeration where a stone may melt? No, it is not an exaggeration. Because this is the mood of Srimati Radharani. When she would be there in Braj Bhumi, feeling separation from Krishna, when she would sit on a stone, that stone would melt because of that heat. This is the love of Srimati Radharani. Third instance is um, in the room of Gambira. That was Mahaprabhu's residence in Jagannath Puri. Uh, Sarup Dhamodar Goswami was his personal servant. He would make sure that Mahaprabhu doesn't hurt himself because no one could control Mahaprabhu when he would come in ecstasy. So generally at night, they would lock the door of his room so that he would not come out in ecstasy. So one, part, one such particular night, they started hearing some sounds inside the room. They opened the room and they saw that Mahaprabhu was rubbing his face against the wall of Gambira. It was too much. Then it so happened that they kept one servant inside the room to control Mahaprabhu. They kept one servant outside the room to hope and see that Mahaprabhu doesn't come out. And Sarup Dhamudar Goswami would keep a vigil all night to see that Mahaprabhu doesn't come out. One such night, they opened the door. The servant was sleeping, but Mahaprabhu was not there. They took the lantern and started searching all over Jagannath Puri. Where is Mahaprabhu? Sometimes he would be there at Simadwaram. Sometimes he would be there in the ocean. In one such occasion, his hands, limbs entered inside the body. It is in the Chaitanya and Charitamrita. It seemed like it was like a pumpkin. Now someone may wonder, is this not an exaggeration? A body turning into a pumpkin out of love? No, this is not an exaggeration. This is the love of Srimati Radharani. This is the love what Srimati Radharani would feel for Krishna in Braj Bhumi. Her body would transform in this state. Actually, it is very difficult to understand. This is a very high topic. Srila Prabhupada, in all his lectures, especially Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita, he would never come about the point that you are not the body, you are the spirit soul. He would always, this material world is Dukkale Masashvatam. You are not the body, you are the spirit soul. Chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra is the only solution. And this life should be the last life in this material world. This was the sum and substance of all his classes. He never came to this point of, uh, or he never, he never explained it openly about Radha Krishna's pastimes because he knew the audience were not that matured to assimilate those pastimes. He said, first come out of this bodily concept. First come out of this bodily concept of life. Then try to understand what is Radha Krishna pastimes. Otherwise, it is simply a suicide. Actually, in one of the songs of Narottam Das Thakur, he explains very beautifully that in Prarthana, he says, uh, especially that song, Gauranga Bolite Habe, Pulaka Sharir, Hari Hari Bolite, Nayane Babe Neer. And in the fourth line of that song, it's very important, considering today's verse, he says, Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hoi Beyakuti Kabehama Herapo Shri Jugala Prite. He explains that when will I get an opportunity to study the books of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan? When I assimilate those books, when will that day be mine? When will I assimilate those books written by the six Goswamis of Vrindavan? And only then will I be able to understand what is Radha Krishna Leela. Otherwise, it is very difficult. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada writes very beautifully. He says, to understand Radha Krishna without the mercy of six Goswamis is impossible. And then he writes, that is why we have presented the world, the nectar of devotion, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya, as well as Chaitanya Charitamrita, for the world to take the advantage of the books of the six Goswamis so that they can understand who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and who is Srimati Radharani. Otherwise, it is very difficult. Actually, when he says this word, Rupa Raghunatha Pade, Hoi Beya Kuti. Why Rupa Raghunath? What is that speciality in these two great devotees, Rupa and Raghunath? 
Rupa Goswami, especially. Who was he? He was a millionaire 500 years ago. Sanatan Goswami's elder brother, he was the richest man in the planet Earth. He had the Chintamani gem. Huh? Generally, when Srila Prabhupada would speak about <clears throat> the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, he would always recite this verse of the Shad Goswami Astakam. Tattva Turnamashesha Mandalapatim Shrenim Sada Tuchavat Bhutva Dina Ganesha Kau Karunaya Kau Pina Kantashrito. It's nice to unwind after a long week of telling people how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Kantashrito Gopi Bhavara Sambhutabdi Lahari Kalola Magno Muhur Vande Rupa Sanatana Raghujago Shri Jeeva Gopalako. When he comes to this verse, Tyaktva Turana Mashesha Mandalapati. Then he explains for five minutes what is the meaning of Mandalapati. And he was asking disciples, Do you know what is the meaning of Mandalapati? Mandalapati. Mandalapati means these six Goswamis. In Hindi, they say, Unka Utak Baitak. They were surrounded by aristocratic people. They were surrounded by beautiful people. They were surrounded by high dignitaries of the highest ranks. They gave up this high aristocracy. For what? For just one, for one line cloth. For whom? Bhutva Dina Ganesha Kau Karunaya out of compassion for the common people to explain what is the love of Srimati Radharani and Krishna. When, you, when we speak about Rupa Goswami, Rupa Goswami, he met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Ram Keli. Then for 10 days, Mahaprabhu instructed him in Prayag, Triveni Sangam. And there he came to Puri and Mahaprabhu said, now onwards, go to Vrindavan. Excavate all the holy places, excavate the lost holy places, write books because I have personally entered your heart and so that you can assimilate whatever I've spoken. Pen it down for the people in the future. Yes, Mahaprabhu. And he went to Vrindavan. Same with Sanatan Goswami. When Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri, entered Raghunath Das Goswami. Oh, what a personality. He was the only son of the Majumdar family. The kings of Bengal, 500 years ago. The monthly income was not less than 15 lakh rupees per month. If you estimate from today's calculation, must be running into hundreds of crores. Only son, only son, Raghunath Das Goswami. When he entered Puri, Mahaprabhu handed him to Swarup Dhamadha. Swarup Dhamadha, henceforward, Raghunath Das Goswami is in your custody. Look after him. And no, what was the mood of Raghunath Das Goswami? Even though Mahaprabhu was in close proximity, it is said in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he never approached Mahaprabhu directly. That is the humility of Raghunath Das Goswami. Any question to be asked, not related to Mahaprabhu. It was through Swarup Damodar. Please, ask, can you please ask this to Mahaprabhu? Huh? One such question was, I have given up everything, I have renounced everything. What is my duty? He asked Swarup Damodar. Swarup Damodar went to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, Raghunath has a question. What is his duty? Mahaprabhu said, Swarup, you could have answered it. But since Raghunath has asked, I will answer the question. Listen carefully, Raghunath. Gramya Kathana Sunibe, Gramya Vartana Kohibe, Balana Kahibe, Balana Poribe. Never hear mundane news, never speak mundane news, never eat luxurious food, never wear luxurious clothes. Always keep on chanting the holy name of Krishna in the mood of Trinada Bisunichena. That was the instruction. And this instruction was taken by Raghunath as Goswami as his life and soul until his last breath. 
It was like a lion's on a rock. For 16 years he stayed in Jagannath Puri. He was the witness to Mahaprabhu's pastimes in Jagannath Puri. What was Mahaprabhu doing? How was he chanting? What was his ecstasy? He was seeing personally. Or sometimes he would hear from Sarup Damodar, what did Mahaprabhu do today? In the year 1534, Mahaprabhu, he ended his manifest Leela in this planet Earth. Soon after, Sarup Damodar Goswami followed. It was too much for Raghunath Das Goswami. He said, it's enough. Enough of staying in this material world. I'll go to Brindavan, get on the Govardhan, and I'll jump from there and commit suicide. When he entered Brindavan, when he entered Brindavan, there was Rupa and Sanatan Goswami waiting for him. Welcome, Raghunath. Welcome to Brindavan. He said, I have no, there is no point to staying in this material world. My Mahaprabhu is not there. He said, Raghunath, don't think about committing suicide. You are the most fortunate of all of us because you were fortunate to see Mahaprabhu's pastimes right in front of your eyes. We were not that fortunate to see Mahaprabhu's pastimes. Please, please, please distribute those pastimes to us and to the whole world in general. We can see the non-envious mentality of Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. They never thought that Vrindavan is our jurisdiction. No one should enter here. What if Raghunath Das comes here and if he becomes famous, who is going to listen to our pravachan? Hamara dukan band ho jayega. No. That is the non-envious mentality of Rupa and Sanatana Goswami. You should distribute the love of Mahaprabhu. What did Mahaprabhu do? Please explain to all of us. We were not that fortunate. Otherwise, they would have said, normally, material mind, I know about Mahaprabhu. I was there in Dasashvam Edagad. Mahaprabhu personally entered my heart. He gave me Bhakti, Rasa, Amrita, Sindhu. What does Raghunath Das Goswami know about Mahaprabhu? Sanatan Goswami would have said, oh, he was the one. I have so much intimate pastimes with Mahaprabhu. What does Raghunath Das Goswami know? No. Please, we are not that fortunate. You please explain to us, what are those pastimes? Every day for three hours, three hours, non-stop, at the bank of Radha Kund, Raghunath Das Goswami would speak about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what a gathering. It's not, Radha Kund is not like today when you go, so much of rickshaws and so much of noise and so much, so serene and calm place. And what an audience. What a speaker and what an audience. The humility of both the Goswamis, Roop and Sanatan, they just didn't instruct Raghunatha, you just speak, and they went to do their bhajan. No. They were the first one to sit in the audience, to listen. Years yearning, what did Mahaprabhu do in Jagannath Puri? What humility. As it is said in the second verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam, that... Uh, uh, Dharma proja hita kaita votraha paramo nirmat saranam satam. This is what we can learn from the Goswami Sabrindavan. And it is not that Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking about Mahaprabhu as if he knows so many things. He was speaking out of humility. And in that assembly of such great sages, where Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami are present, there was one such sage who would come and sit and take the dictations. And that was. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. It was only because of Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami's magnanimity, their non-envious nature, no prestige, no pride, no name and fame, that today we are able to sit here and speak something about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Had this sabha not been called for, the world would have been deprived of the knowledge of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is Rupa Goswami. When Mahaprabhu, Shaitanya Mahaprabhu, ended his manifest Leela in Jagannath Puri, Raghunath Das Goswami was, uh, he just curtailed his diet. He was only having milk and fruits. 
it is said when sanatan goswami left he took samadhi ragunathas goswami gave up solid diet he was only in liquid out of you know sheer separation he would have buttermilk only once in 3 days little fine one time i went to this place where they had a bunch of roller coaster you would love this and then rupa goswami left it was too much for ragunath das goswami to bear it is said he gave up drinking even water that is the love of the goswamis it was not a competition who can give a best katha and who can impress people no it was love among the goswamis which was which is you know exemplary actually in the same line what a chaitanya charitamrita which krishnadas kaviraj goswami had written same mood shila prabhupa translated it in english for the english speaking world it is said uh, actually it was a radhashtami lecture in uh, london in 1968 and shila prabhupa was giving a lecture on radhashtami on shrimati radharani for the first half of the lecture it was only you are not the body you are the spirit soul you have to get out of this material world and dukkale masashvatam and three modes of material nature you have to just get about this three modes of material nature and take the shelter of krishna there was no mention of shrimati radharani at the end of the talk <clears throat> he said so today is radhashtami and he said we should worship shrimati radharani in the mood of the goswamis of brindavan how goswamis worship shrimati radharani that is how being rupanugas we should follow in their footsteps and then he said the greatness of the goswamis he said never in their lives the goswamis of brindavan ever declared openly that they have seen krishna never in their lives they ever said they had seen krishna that was the plus point of the goswamis he said they were serving krishna in so much of intensity that krishna was hankering to see them oh where are my devotees and then he said to the crowd so our devotion should be in that intensity people come and ask me swami ji have you seen krishna can i see krishna do devotional service serve the lord in such a way that krishna comes and sees you then shila prabhupada went on further it's very important for all of us how can you serve krishna how can you serve krishna the prabhupada said you cannot serve krishna with your eyes no not even with your ears no but there is one part in your body by which you can serve krishna can anyone tell me what is that part which the prophet mentioned by which you can serve krishna tongue this he is seeing on the day of radhashtami in 1968 by this tongue i request all the devotees he told to the audience by this tongue with determination if you do only these two things first with this tongue with determination let it only chant the name of krishna and with this tongue it should only describe the glories of krishna that's all make it a determination and with this tongue with determination only honor krishna prasad he repeated it twice with this tongue you only chant krishna's name discuss about krishna and with this tongue only honor krishna prasad if you do these two things only This is Shri Prabhupada's words. Very soon, 
you will see krishna face to face you will realize krishna's presence i guarantee it and devotees went you know hari bol and even i felt you know is will there be anything simpler than this it is the essence of all the four vedas the indian puranas 109 upanishads itihasas vedanta sutras everything thus this two sentence with this tongue you just chant krishna's name and with this tongue you just honor krishna prasad you will see krishna face to face generally this is shila prabhupada's mercy because of his encouragement this movement is still going on because of his encouragement yes you will get krishna you just keep on doing it even though the path may seem to be very you know you know it is testing your patience but still don't give up this movement you will sometimes when devotees would approach shila prabhupada and say prabhupada uh i am not a pure devotee you know what is prabhu's response he would not uh, sympathize with this person who comes and says i am not a pure devotee many times this happened with the disciple prabhu i am not a pure devotee you know what is prabhu's response why are you not a pure devotee prabhu i don't have taste in the holy name of krishna why are you not having taste in the holy name of krishna robert i cannot become like you who is stopping you from becoming like me you should be better than me because he never sympathized with this excuse of not becoming krishna conscious he would always say who is stopping you robert maya is very strong why are you not stronger this is shila prabhu encourage me encourage because if he, even one word he says Yes this devotional life is very tough who will take this movement are you already the founder rach has declared it is very tough so it is tough no it is do it you will get it i guarantee it you will get this is called a leader he increases you can say the you can say he he never make his followers lose their heart no you will get it in one of uh, in hawaii you know there was one temple president and he had the habit of uh, misbehaving with the devotees and shila prabhupad came to hawaii and this temple president was a big donor also to shila prabhupad he would give a lot of donations shila prabhupad came to hawaii and it was midnight this temple president came to the airport he invited shila prabhupad prabhupad came and uh, in the middle of the night as usual proper would keep writing the bhagavatam in the middle of the night he called his personal servant he said call the temple president it was around 1 o'clock at night because he knew this temple president is not having a proper behavior with the rest of his fellow god brothers so he wanted to straighten it to malur krishna middle of the night at 2 o'clock call him so the servant woke the temple president please proper is calling you he looked at the time it is 1 o'clock he went in front of proper he's just rubbing his eyes what has happened what is the emergency proper was translating he looked at him who are you he says who are you is this a question to be asked <laughs> just few hours before i welcomed him who are you well proper i am the temple president of this temple what are you doing what are you doing at 1 o'clock what will i do proper i am sleeping you are sleeping what am i doing proper you are translating i am translating and you being the temple president you are sleeping what is my age what is your age what is your age probably i'm 25 what is my age probably you're 75 a 75 year old man is translating and you are sleeping he said it was out of the blue he never expected this type of firing in middle of 2 o'clock he said probably you are a probably you are a great devotee 
why are you not a great devotee? Prabhupada, you are a Paramahamsa. Why are you not a Paramahamsa? Prabhupada, I don't have taste. Why are you not having taste? Sit with me and translate. You will get the taste. And he started crying. <laughs> Prabhupada said, go, now go and take rest. I just want to chastise you for this. This is Srila Prabhupada. Actually, he wanted his disciples to be better than him. It is not, oh, it's only Prabhupada who can do. It is not within our capacity. So there are sometimes the devotees who say, hey, these, all these nice talks, they decorate the scriptural books. It is not practical. For if, you say, if we say this in front of Prabhupada, we'll get a nice sauce. I say, what? It is practical. If I can do it, why can't you? This excuse can't be tolerated by Srila Prabhupada. This is what, you know, is a pushing force for everyone, even today, after 37 years of his disappearance. That everyone, every devotee in his con is just clinging to his words. Yes, what Srila Prabhupada has said is true. In one of his uh, uh, communication with the disciples, a disciple wrote a letter to Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada, it was not a letter, I think it was a direct conversation. Prabhupada, you say that this philosophy is the best. Srila Prabhupada said, yes. Prabhupada, you say that uh, our worship is the best because we worship Radha Krishna, we worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada said, yes. Prabhupada, you say the Mahamantra is the topmost. There is no mantra other than the Mahamantra. Hare Krishna Mantra. Prabhupada said, yes. All the mantras have gone to hell except the Mahamantra. Go ahead. Prabhupada, association, association with the devotee is the best. Yes, it is the best. And of course, the prasadam is the best. Yes, it is the best. Then Prabhupada, if everything is best, then why are devotees falling from this moment? If everything is best, why are devotees leaving this moment? And Prabhupada said, very beautiful point. He said, a devotee will never fall down. A devotee will never fall down, but a pretender will surely fall down. So, in this moment of Krishna consciousness, let us try to be devotees, following in the footsteps of our Guru Parampara, and following in the footsteps of Srila Prabhupada, following in the footsteps of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, in the mood of Gopi Bhartu Pada Kamalayor, Das, 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 Anu, Das. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Any questions? Any comments? Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Anantakoti Vaishnav Brinda Ki Hare Krishna.